everyone, it's Mr. Senra here with your morning reflection. So if this week has taught us anything, it is that we are heavily reliant on technology. If you're with the same phone company as me, you should have felt the impact of what life was like without being connected 24-7 on Tuesday. I remember a time when we weren't connected to the, to the degree that we are today. Back in high school, a text message was a note on the counter about where I was going and where I could be reached. We didn't worry about whether I could call someone or check my phone 24-7 because this technology never really existed. And and while now I wouldn't trade my cell phone or connectivity, there there was some freedom experienced in being off the grid. We can usually loathe going away to a remote location where we have limited access. However, speak to any adult and they usually can't wait to be away from it all. And even though we may not like to admit it, we can find solace and comfort in being disconnected with our tech and reconnecting with the natural world around us. In this virtual world that we are being thrust into, it is sometimes hard to find time to disconnect when we are expected to be connected all the time. Our homes and rooms have been transformed to classrooms, meeting spaces, and offices, places that we use to get away from it all have literally been made into spaces that don't bring us the comfort that we once craved. So let's take a note from this unfortunate Tuesday experience that was brought on by that phone company. Let's try to disconnect for a bit each day and reconnect with the natural world and those around us. By doing so, we can begin to remember that there is an outside world outside of the screens that we are attached to. And even though these devices are becoming a somewhat unnatural extension of ourselves, we can definitely show restraint from the control that they have over us and spend some time in quiet and calm. So as we go through our day today, let us pray that we can find the strength to be content in silence and solitude. Help us, Lord, to use these times to disconnect and listen to your voice calling. Guide us and show us that we can find happiness even in the silence in our lives. Grant us the grace of stillness and calm. Amen. St. Rock, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday.